Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on conditionals 3, part 1, module 1. We're going to write is less than. So write a function called is less than, given two numbers is less, is less than, returns whether num2 is less than num1. So if we have 9 and 4, it's going to return true. This is one of those fun problems where the, like, what the, like, the, how would you say this? The, the definition of the question actually gives us a pretty good piece of pseudocode that we could probably use. We'll paste that in here. Returns whether num1 is less than num2. So if we think about what that would look like in code, return num1, sorry, num2 less than num1. And it's the same thing that we've been discussing before with conditionals. We can wrap this in an if-else statement, or we can just return the expression directly. So cool. Uh, greater than, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to grab this returns whether num2 is greater than num1 statement. We're going to paste that in here as pseudocode, returns whether num2 is greater than num1. Looking good. Write a function called is equal to, returns whether num2 is equal to num1. And just for consistency's sake, we'll just keep pasting in a section of the problem statement and then use that as our pseudocode to generate some actual code. So return. <clears throat> excuse me, num2 equals 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 num1. Again, triple equals, best bet. Uh, you can use double equals, but you're going to run into problems later on, possibly. So to avoid those completely, just use triple equals. We run these tests, and we're in good shape. Okay, so this problem is a little bit out of place because, well, to determine whether or not a number is even is not the most straightforward concept. So let's jump into the console real quick and you'll see these tests that had run from the previous problems we've done on this page. We're going to hit command K, that'll get rid of them. You can also hit this clear button right here. Um, if your console is light and you want to know how to make it dark, you can check out some of the videos from module zero, but essentially you just come in here, go to settings, and that'll let you change the, uh, I think it's the theme. Anyway, so let's, let's talk about the modulus operator. The modulus operator is just the percent sign, and we're going to take a bunch of numbers and we're going to modulo them. So we'll say 10, Modulo 2, that gives us 0. Say 11, uh, modulo 3, it's going to give us 2. Let's say 156, modulo 14, that gives us 2. It may not be obvious from what we've written so far, but modulo is going to divide the first operator, or operand, in this case 10. It's going to divide that by the second operand, and it's going to evaluate this expression to the remainder of that operation. So let's go to the console. We're going to do a quick set of examples. 10 modulo 2, 0. 11 modulo 2, 1. 12 modulo 2, 0. 13 modulo 2. And we'll do one more with 14. So if you haven't noticed yet, we have a pretty cool pattern that we can generate. Any number modulo 2 is going to be 0 if that number is even. If it's odd, it'll be 1. And that makes sense, right, if you think about it for a pretty long time, because this isn't exactly a straightforward concept. But the remainder of dividing something by 2 is only ever going to be 0 or 1. If it's 0, the number is even. If it's 1, the number is odd. So let's get a little bit of pseudocode on the page. We'll say, and we'll move that up a little bit, if num is even, return true, else return false. If num is even, we've just described, can be written as if num modulus 2 is equal to 0. It's essentially what we're describing, <clears throat> excuse me, it's essentially what we're describing over here on our console. And so the way that we can write that out is going to be an if statement and an else portion for the false. So we'll return false there. If we say num modulus 2, which is, you could say modulo 2 as well. I'm not really 100% clear on modulo versus modulus and when you use one versus the other, but we're going to use both. So num2 modulus, num, sorry, num modulo 2, and we're going to check to see if that's equal to 0. If it is, we know that we have an even number. So this function is going to return true if the number is even, so we return true in that case. So let's close the console, run our tests, and we're in good shape. So thanks for watching this video, y'all, and we'll see you in the next one.